Uh, I can't believe I just was not recording at all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the latest update is I did get a case for the Raspberry Pi. And it can be hung. So I need to uh, get a screw that I can just screw in there and hang this on it. I'm probably going to make a uh, 3D printed part to, to hold this into place against the plywood there. Uh, the, the, um, this jack, this USB jack was here, but I've created a larger hole and I'm going to put this sub panel on. Uh, basically what I have is a lot of these 12 volt lights that I'm going to hook in and the nice thing is they're they're all they all have circuit breakers on it um, it seems like the only thing that doesn't have circuit breakers is the um, 12 volt outlet and the USB outlet uh, this is supposed to be a voltage meter just so I can look at really quick and see what the voltage is so that's going to be fun setting up. Uh, right now i got to get some screws to screw it into place and then I uh, need to solder the wires together. So I'll probably have to get pick up some wire to uh, run it over to this guy. But with that being said, I was thinking about getting, hooking uh, this guy up. This is a DC sub panel and I can wire all kinds of things on here. And, change the uh, the fuses I think they go up to uh, 30 amps for the fuses but I can bring them down fairly low as well so probably put that right there this at most can I think it can handle 125 amps so I got this uh, 100 amp uh, circuit breaker that's supposed to flip like that you can uh, put it put it back on and reuse it. Uh, these two are probably overkill for the system. I think a lot of this stuff is just overkill. Um, more or less I'm just learning the different components of setting all of this up, figuring out um, what goes where, and trying to start to be a bit more safer about fuses and circuit breakers. Uh, the other thing I did was I uh, drilled holes back there. Uh, wait, is that it? Mm, it's in between. There you go. There's a hole back there. But that whole back corner, I've dri drilled holes through. And now the uh, the cables go right from underneath and up through the back so I can run the wires in the back. I still need to do a little bit more management with my cables. And I've got to hook these lights up as well to those switches. And so that'll probably involve some crazy glue, or maybe I'll just screw them into place. Because um, it, it looks like it could have had some kind of sticky pads here, but that, I didn't see that come with them. All right, uh, all right, that's the uh, that's the progress of this weekend. I don't think there'll be much more progress until next weekend.